Hello, my name is Andrea, and this is my third collaboration with Quince, so stay tuned. So if you're new here, my name is Andrea again, and you're joining me in the Babe Cave. I'm a little under the weather and I'm getting over a cold. It's not the C word. I tested for that. I'm just congested, but I couldn't wait. I needed to unbox this new quince bag and you all love all my quince bags and I love them all. So this is my third collaboration. They gifted me the bag. I will put my affiliate link down below. So you can purchase all three <laughs> if you want. No. Um, but let me get to the their new release of this bag. And I haven't seen it. Um, it was just in a regular package. And this is their dust bag. It's a nice quality dust bag. Oh yeah, I'm in the spirit of Halloween right now. I've got my Halloween stuff on. <clears throat> so it came packaged in here so no peeking this time <laughs> let me just do this their tag says it pays to share refer your friends and earn quince credit hmm there is a scan spot there to share but I love to share their bags as well so here I am third time Oh, it's popping out the bottom. So, it's in cardboard. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, it's folded. <laughs> this is called the Italian Leather Mini Bow Bag. <laughs> and this is in the color Cognac. And it's a really pretty color for fall. And this is the chain that it comes with if you didn't want to use it as a top, just a, a handbag. It has a snap top button closure on the top. It's not a big bag. Has one slip pocket and that is their, uh oh, that is their Quince logo right there. And inside has their tag. I just wanted to read it. So the shell is 100% cow leather and the lining is 100% cotton. And this one is actually made in China. And I'll go further into that in a second because not all their bags are made in China. <laughs> but I'll get to that in a minute. Let me undress this thing and let's get her open. So it comes with this really, really pretty gold chain. It's very, you know, small links because, well, it's a small little mini bow bag. But yeah, I have an extra chain because <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to wear it as a crossbody or not. But I'll do some mod shots of, as well. And it has these little clips. <clears throat> and where they go in at is inside. There's one of them. And then across the way is the other one. So you can attach those. I was going to try out a different bag. But this one was new. And I wanted to see what it looked like. So also this little knot right here. You can actually move you can make it a cute little bow on the top part of it of the strap or you could change it to this side I kind of like the look of it being on the side personally but yeah no feet on the bottom you know just a, a leather bag but the dimensions the dimensions of this bag is it's about seven or eight across by six and it has a depth 
from the bottom about four. So you can fit, you know, a bunch of items in there. Let me show you it on my body. I'm five six, average American woman. So here's where it hits me on my body. Not not terrible. Not terrible. I think I prefer it top handle, but now I have an extra chain for other bags. Uh, let me show you if my phone fits inside. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Let's just see. Oh yeah. It fits just fine inside. Ugh. The handle, the top handle is in the way, but yeah, this is so cute, this little feature of the knot. I almost like it on top a little bit. Looks like it has little ears. <laughs> but yeah, here's the button closure that I was talking about. Gorgeous color for fall, too. I might keep the chain in the bag and carry it top handle, but if I needed to attach it, you can bring the chain with you. <laughs> So here's the inside again. It's just brown. I wish it was kind of a light cream, but it's just the brown cognac color. So that's my reveal. It's super cute. If you like a little bit smaller bag, lately I just like a little bit smaller of a bag. <laughs> I, I just don't go enough places or have to carry my whole life in a bag anymore, so... <laughs> Oh, isn't this cute? I kind of like it up here at the top. So again, this bag is 100% top grain Italian leather. <clears throat> this is tanned in LWG certified tannery. I hadn't seen that on any of the other bags. Basically, I, I don't know a lot about LWG, but... It promotes low energy, water usage, waste management, and elimination of restricted substance. So, I'm guessing it's a little more eco-friendly, but still leather. So they maybe have some guidelines that they have to go through to get, you know, the leather certified. So, that's the mini bow bag in the cognac color. And then I also wanted to show you <clears throat> my original. My very first one with Quince was the Itali Italian leather shoulder bag. It's, it's a hobo bag in the color stone. And it also, it came with a different dust bag. It came with the, just a plain black dust bag with this one. But this leather... It has more of a leather smell. This one's a little more chemically, but kind of not. Not as leather. But this one right here is the Italian top grain calfskin leather. And the origin of this bag isn't from Florence, Italy. And I love this hobo bag. It's super roomy. Yeah, this, this was hard to get out of. This was my first Quince bag collaboration. So it is from Italy. <laughs> and the bow bag, like I said, this is from origin is China. And then my collab number two was this gorgeous, super duper duper soft. Soft. <laughs> this is the Italian leather quilted convertible crossbody in the color dark taupe. It is so pretty. <laughs> It was, it's very hard to get out of this one as well. This one is made of 100% top grain Italian sheep leather. There's not much of a smell on this one. At all. Um, but this one, the origin was from China. So, <clears throat> you just have to look down in the description box of each of these bags and see... You know, the details, the sizing, where they're made. If, you know, 
I feel like this one, they're all different leathers. <laughs> So this one, you know, this dark taupe is a smooth leather. This one's more of a pebbled leather. But then you've got this calf skin. Let's compare the two of those. It's like a bigger pebbled calf skin leather. So those are my three collaborations. And I really am impressed with their quality. I've not had any issues with the quality of these bags. I love them all. They're all different in all different colors. <laughs> so yeah, I do receive some commission if you click on the link and buy something. So I'm just going to be up front with you. And my review of these bags is honest. I, I love the quality of these bags. And this first hobo bag, I couldn't get the zipper to close or open. I can't remember. So they sent me a new one. I mean, they're very easy to work with. If you have an issue, it's a you can return it for free. And it's free shipping. The prices for leather bags in this quality, you cannot beat. <laughs> so yeah, very roomy hobo. See, no problem zipping and unzipping. <clears throat> and if you do, do, use some wax paper on the zipper. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, appreciate all of my collaborations with Quince, they have been amazing to work with, and I I can't recommend them enough, really. They're really a good company. The leather is nice, affordable, so get you a bag. <laughs> so I have enjoyed all these collaborations, and I appreciate all of you out there. And yes, my hair is up because I'm going to get my hair done again this Wednesday. I don't know when this is going to come out, but <laughs> uh, I am feeling a little better. The hair is just up in a, in a thing, in a bun, a crazy bun. <laughs> so I appreciate all of you, and thank you for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.